the Russian Empire has never been as strong as it is today in the 5th of June, 1673, with the over with the conquest of uh, Slovakia and a new Slovakian vassal who was taken economic, defensive, diplomatic, offensive, innovative. So they have innovative offensive, which means their sieges are going to be really strong. Uh, they also have defensive, so that means their defensiveness is really good. Look at that, 80 defensiveness on this province here. Uh, we are going to do some subsidies for these vassals because we are very rich right now. Um, any of our marches, especially the ones that are going to be fielding an army, because essentially what that does is it allows us to field a larger army without actually doing literally any micro for it. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4 in Russia, or as Russia rather. Um, right now, I am making an effort towards pushing for this here in Influence. That way we can annex our vassals a little bit cheaper. These guys are all heading over this way, and these guys are all heading over to Sargrad. In the last episode, we proclaimed the Third Rome, and you can see here, uh, the Third Rome dev cost 20%. That's really helpful. Now it only costs 999, which is the max, if you didn't know. But it also gives us manpower modifier, 100% tax modifier, and defensiveness, which is nice. Uh, the manpower is crazy, because look at that. 54,000 manpower a year. I think that's how much you get per year, right? Contributes to our maximum manpower. Okay, right. So our manpower growth scales off of that. So that's pretty nuts, right? Um, but um, yes, yeah, so I think the main goals for today will be to reconquest as much for our vassal as we possibly can. So he's got some nasty looking cores around here. Uh, how long until these cores expire? Quite a long time. Oh yeah, we're good. We don't need to worry about it at all. So we have a pretty short truce with these guys, all things considered. We're going to be able to attack them very soon. And uh, now would be a good time as any to attack these guys. We're not going to reconquest. Um, matter of fact, yeah, we're not going to get imperialism anytime soon. So let's attack the Ming. It's a holy war, of course. And that will allow us to uh, conquest a ton more land for our vassals. I'm not spending any money on them. I'm not taking, I'm not going to even take any land for myself. Giving it all to the vassals. All the glory to the vassals, right? Confucian zealots? I don't think so, man. Mm -mm -mm. Not on my Christian Minecraft server. Hope you guys are all doing well, though. If you are, make sure that you let me know by leaving a like on the video. Because uh, it really does help me out a lot. Um, Infantry costs or stab. Eh, we're way ahead on admin. So I don't mind losing a stab. I'll actually boost it up a couple times extra. Just to make sure. All right. Burger loyalty? Sure. So, we took that fort very quickly. <laughs> Let's actually see here who's got the best defensiveness. So, Finland's got 70. Wu has 55. Nitra has 85. So, uh, yeah. Looks like we can now give our forts over to Nitra. And uh, that's pretty nuts. Let's have these guys come over here. Let's get an admiral. I don't like spending the diplo but it's necessary so we need to improve our relations with france they're positive now so now what we can do here is that we can enforce religion which it says he's going to be disloyal but then his relations will shoot up because he's now the true faith and uh now you've seen the most cursed thing you'll see all day orthodox france don't you love that so what ideas does france have by the way eco offensive defensive uh admin Quality, innovative. So innovative, offensive, again, quality is nice because they get the Elan, so they get that extra morale. I don't know if I march them or not. I mean, I love marches. A lot of people don't use marches. I am a big fan of marches. But uh, we'll see. Get these guys down here. How many men you got? 47,000. I was getting comments about this. Like, why has Ming not, com not absolutely completely collapsed? I have no idea. I really have no idea. It should have, but it hasn't. How you go? How you doing, lads? Dead? Yeah, that's what I thought. You see that? <laughs> they just lost. This is their whole army right here. So that's uh, that was pretty nuts. Let's get you guys down here. Start sieging down the forts that they have. I don't care about a little bit of legitimacy. Matter of fact, I would prefer to have uh, maximum stability. So let's do that. Get you guys over here with a general and get you down there. Time to start uh, the conquests. We won the Siege of Canton. Very good. And uh, basically, I just want to siege down all of his forts. They have no manpower. So whenever they their army dies, they're just dead. They're dead. 
they have they will not come back for it so yep kill off as many of their armies as possible apparently they're now able to get away not anymore now just need to catch out all these smaller stacks of these especially as allies get them out of the war yeah look at this all right continue converting everything of course because look at it oh my goodness so i can also add mm, yep i have them all i don't know if i actually i haven't really spent much time thinking about it nippon right okay so have i converted enough of this this is orthodox it's already in this center so let's add you there do that there our, our income is like super high right now so that is probably going to give us really only 41 i need to upgrade these centers of trade over here man because we'll get an extra merchant from that which one is this mongolia yeah that's not gonna happen that's you men right so maybe we could actually how's that oh that actually changed it a lot okay so how's our governing capacity we're over it but just barely man we do that a few times and we build a few more of our um what are they called uh, state houses we probably can make that happen oh yeah we can we can be freeing up quite a bit so let's do this i guess i was thinking i had built a bunch of them but i think i'm mistaking this with my um whatchamacallit my, my, Zan my byzantium campaign so i'll just build a bunch of these real quick there we go not bad continue converting of course so if I upgrade this one more time, it goes from, it's just stab cost and missionary maintenance cost. So that's not very useful. So I'll probably keep it at level two. No reason to upgrade it if I don't need to. All right. So yeah, these guys over here, and we're just waiting on this truce with, uh, with them, which will be up in 78. Look at that. Oh, Finland. Right. So we need to, where I marry you? Let's uh, suppress rebels for them. Luckily, they're all the true faith, so that helps because they have religious as well. I think religious gives tolerance to the true faith. It does, plus two, so pretty solid. Um, definitely need to up our fort game over here, so we'll do that, especially in Nitra. Nitra's got... Uh, we want to... Fort Nitra is really good. So what we're going to do here is we are going to give subsidies to all of our marches. Uh, give them like 15 ducats a month. It's fine. We have plenty coming in. Wu will also get some some uh subsidies probably about the same about 17 that's fine shun is going to get these provinces over here i'm gonna have to take them for myself because uh, otherwise they're going to um you run into issues when you give it because it uses your vassals absolutism and uh, admin efficiency when calculating how much it costs in the peace deal and it's just super annoying so we don't i take it for myself that is a not a wipe actually Let's have you guys head over this way. Let's have these guys start uh, carpet besieging in the south. We're probably going to 100% them in this war. And I'm going to give as much land to my two vassals as humanly possible. Really start uh, dismantling the Chinese Empire. There you go. Look at that. Shun just went in and stack wiped them. Easy enough, right? Look at that. They have 9,000 men running around somewhere. Where? I don't exactly know, but uh, they're running around somewhere. Let's go with... <laughs> I would rather have a uh, religious conversion guy. Romanian culture. Sure, man. I don't care. <laughs> Welcome. You are now an accepted faith. Or an accepted culture, rather. There you go. Get these guys wiped out as quickly as possible. There you go. Very easy. Easy peasy, actually. So now we should start probably uh, figuring out what we want to take in the war. So for border purposes, we're going to take all that. I would like to touch tips with, uh, with these guys, so I'll take all of that. And then I will probably take like... Maybe a couple provinces over here for them. That's a whole state. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. And then um, 
might as well take some money and there you go so easiest way to do this is to go to your diplomat mode which shows your recently taken provinces in an easy to see way shun will uh pay off his debts grant him these provinces so you can click on them click it click that then i'm hitting c to accept so it's c so click cc click click cc click click cc click click cc so that's a pretty easy way to do that again if you zoom in it makes it easier so you can jump back and forth every once in a while you'll hit the wrong one but uh you know just slow it down if you need to so now we touch borders with these guys so our borders are much cleaner over in china which is nice um and it makes it so if he has rebels we can very easily and quickly get over there and uh, shut those rebels down so nice stuff let's get these guys over here to handle them and uh yeah that's it how about it so we definitely need more diplo mana though that's uh something that we're severely lacking in so hopefully we can get some more of that pretty soon speaking of i love events that give me free mana almost like this game hears me complaining about me getting boned by uh, rng all right so let's upgrade you you're actually able to be upgraded twice this guy will also get upgraded once over here and that should give us there we go it's cutting it a little close so I think what I'll also do is I'll add like a couple other provinces over here in a different state. And then when we get the money, I know that I have an extra missionary or merchant. I will use them in a moment. So that will basically solidify the fact that I got that. And uh, see, now our governing capacity issues are like gone. And in the age of revolutions, Russia has a special one, which I give think gives like 33% governing cap or something like that. So uh, then you'll be able to trade company everything. And it'll be really, really powerful. So... That extra merchant will be used to steer from... Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. To be honest with you, I already have like more than I'm capable of using. Um, Using in a worthwhile way, that is. Okay, this is actually really good. Steering from Nippon... He'll steer up there. So let's take a look here. It's going to take a minute for him to get there. Does it actually say how long until he gets there? We'll arrive here. Period, period, period. Yeah, okay. So we're at 306. I reckon that's going to up that trade number because all that that's getting steered here. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, well, that's not going to do anything because it's just going to be steering over into here. Yeah, never mind. So let's transfer from here instead of Nippon. Our commandant is dad. Unfortunate. Get a new one. Level three. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. So, 307, 308. Yeah, that's tough. Unless we were to take some of his trade. To be honest with you, I should, since I am I'm subsidizing him. Oh, yeah, he, he's he's making good money. So, let's take that. Um, yeah, they're just still salty that I, um, I yoinked their... I yoink their um I, I force their religion so what this does is uh if you don't know this you can divert trade you get 100 percent of their trade power for the cost of 30 um 30 uh what you're gonna call it so yeah we're steering a bit more but we honestly need way more trade down here in ostracon oh yeah yeah all right let's um upgrade you so we were at 308. So we're already gaining a little bit more. 315. There's a lot of trade that's being steered out of here that we need. Um, let's uh, state you. And then upgrade this guy once. And that will free up a bit of that. I know I need to go down into the caucuses as well. Because what that does is it increases our trade power here, but it also propagates more up there. So, yeah, we are making very good money, but uh, we definitely could be making more. And uh, more production is good as well, or production efficiency. Let's take a look at our manufacturers here. So we've built most of them over there. So, yeah, it looks like a lot of it is going to be really just based around sitting around and kind of waiting until we are able to um, get a little more. So... I'm going to click this button. It's going to pop out some rebels. They're all little tiny stacks. They're going to occupy a bunch of provinces. It doesn't matter. Uh, I need to get my crown land up. And uh, aside from deving, I don't really have an easy way to manage it. So 
because most of the time events you actually lose crown land you don't gain crown land with them so we will continue to suppress over here with you and just kill off as many of these little stacks as possible we continue converting provinces because that's what we do here looks like we can also consecrate some metropolitan so let's do that we can consecrate one metropolitan one single metropolitan sad It is what it is. If we culture convert, we could probably get a little more, but that's okay. So yeah, basically what that does is I uh, yoinked crown land, which allowed me to do that, which allows me to get a little bit more once we get up to 75 and we will get up there through deving more than anything. So let's see here. Let's uh, find some good provinces to dev up, preferably in our capital state here. Yeah, these guys are Moskva is still high dev. So let's put like the dev cost edict over here and then we will dev. I know people hate it, but we got to have to dev a little bit of admin. The manpower is, is the big one. I didn't mean to click the production dev, but that's okay. <laughs> there you go. And so that will take our crown land up a bit as well. Oh yeah, we just gained like 3%. Once we get to 75 and then we build up to our force limit, we will be able to get this one. Oh yeah, yeah, this one here which will give us uh, autonomy for 20 years, which is fine. But then we need to either crush the revolution or be the revolution or be at war with the revolutionary target and control their capital, which gives us admin efficiency. Not bad. Cool. Yeah, the Cossacks are going to be annoying, but uh, we'll be able to handle them pretty easily. Truce with... Uh, England is going to be up in October of 78, so a year and a half or so, a little over a year. Too many Diplo relations, you're going to have that. Especially considering the fact that I'm gaining very, very slowly Diplo. Let's see here. Yeah, I need both of these. I'm not going to, I'm not willing to cut that out. So let's upgrade you all the way to five. Take a look at our, um, over here. This one, I think you need to be Chinese to use anyways. Yep, Confucian. This one, you need to be Chin Confucian. Yeah, so not useful. This one, we can use war taxes with if we upgrade all the way. That's kind of nice. General cost is good as well. It's basically free professionalism. Okay, cool. This one, I think you need to be Shinto. Yeah, you have to be Shinto for that one. And this one over here, you have to be cultured group Japanese. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to need to start uh, getting more trade from some Arcan, more trade power rather, and maybe even work our way down into Persia. So let's attack Timurids. Ooh, they would actually transfer trade power to me. Would you guys transfer trade power to me? They would not. Unfortunate. Let's, imp let's influence Afghanistan. No, let's take on his foreign debt. Okay, so that makes them like us a little bit more. And then I'll influence them as well. Which will increase their relation with me. And then I should... Russian economic pace. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We're going to attack these guys. I'll call in a couple of peeps I don't care about. No big deal. I'm going to take everything that they have. I, I'm going to full annex them minus this province over here, which I can't, of, of course. Um... Yeah, okay. Let's have these guys march over here and over here and then have him march down there. This other 26 stack can handle all of them over here. All these rebel occupations are annoying, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Timurids have 28,000 men. So this one stack is bigger than their entire forces. So, you know, they should just roll over pretty quickly. All I said is I plan to take everything here. It's, it just so happens that their borders are perfectly along the trade route, the trade area. And uh, Samarkand here is a center of trade with the Registan Square, which we cannot use. But it used to be a lot better. It used to say, uh, it used to be Worst War Cost versus other religions. But uh, they nerfed it in the recent patches. Sag. How are our vassals looking in force limit? Syria's got 20. Wu's got 22. That's not bad. Finland's 61. Bulgaria's at 20. 19. Mitra's at 7. 
Nitra's force limit is 11. So we need to do a little bit of um, investing here. Let's uh, invest in my vassal. Get their force limit up, right? And then invest in my vassal over here. Get his force limit up. Just need some more money. That's the big one. The subsidies are definitely the way to do it, too. I think I picked that up from a Roomba. So basically, you you extort them your vassals for wealth, and then you use the wealth that you extort from them to uh, give back to them. <laughs> Which is a, a funny roundabout way of doing it, but it works, so no reason not to do it. Yaz is still uh, Zoroastrian. How about a Zoroastrian Russia run? It's not too late. It's never too late. <laughs> I wouldn't even consider it. All right. 65. Yeah, it's going to be a little painful. We can make it happen, though. No big deal. For some reason, be a... Oh, be a pass. Right, right. I would love... I would love to get a PU on like, somebody down here. Georgia is a decent vassal to have. All right, next idea group. That's good. That uh, is going to be helpful. And then hopefully before they hit 75, we'll be able to grab this one, which will actually give us the 25 that we're looking for. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how well that would work, but um, those guys sit down there. Last one. Who cares? Not me. We do have too many Diplo relations, though. We need to clear up some of these. Ugh. It's unfortunate. Like, there, there's just so... I'm uh, really trying here to uh, get this tech, and then I have a bunch of generals that are costing me a ton of... Uh, a ton of... Uh, a ton of relations, rather, that are costing me a bunch of Diplo mana. All right, have you guys over here. You guys head over here. Big battle going on over here. Annex that. Get you guys down here. All right. As soon as we occupy that, we should be good. These two forts over here. Afghanistan is preparing to attack who? Somebody. Nobody important to me. We don't attack Afghanistan as Russia. That's a, that's a bad move. We don't want to do that. You guys know what happens when that happens. Very good. I will take it all. I will yoink and yoink and I can't yoink. Already been yoinked, apparently. So there you go. Pull you guys over here and park them somewhere where they're not going to be taking a bunch of attrition. And uh, that's pretty good. So then in the next war, we'll be able to get a little bit more of that. So this can all be trade companied. This one should be trade companied already. Up that. This one will be trade companyed when it's converted. Oh my gosh, look at all that dev. Whew. But yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. So, as I was doing before, now that we've got a little bit of money in the bank, we can upgrade you. I will... Yeah. Build all these for him. No reason not to. I mean, look at this. He'll, he'll have like a hundred some thousand forces in the field when the time comes. As long as we subsidize him, Finland will do it. He will do it. So his force limit is 78. Damn. That's crazy. All right. And Bulgaria's force limit is probably quite high now that he's got all that stuff. Hopefully he's got it full cord. 33. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. So yeah, truce with Oirat is over as well. So let's begin that process here. Let's have... Um, Let's do half and half. And then these guys we don't really need over here anymore, right? Yeah, this is all orthodox, so tolerance of the true faith. We're not going to have any rebels over there. These guys I will have protect or prevent rebels over here because it's going to end up happening. Can you turn both on? Nah, you cannot, sadly. Oh, drilling. Oopsies. So I was told if you just do that, they will just autonomously siege. If you do not select a province, they'll just run province to province locally and do it, which could be really, really helpful for late game um, microing. Pretty nuts. 
Looks like they're doing it too. Yeah, look at these guys over here. That's awesome. I love that. I uh, I thought that that was going to be a quite a useful or a useless thing, but it looks pretty good. Mechanic-wise. All right. You guys suppress over here. And uh, that's about a good place as any to call it for the episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying some Russia. If you are, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video because it really does help me out. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to ding the bell and all that fun stuff. And uh, if you would like to support me, I have a Patreon linked in the description below, as well as uh, plenty of other things. I have a, I have a uh, subreddit, I have Twitch, I have Patreon, like I said, and a Discord. So there's plenty of ways for you guys to get involved if you would like to, and they're all linked in the description below. Um, let's go with that. and uh, that's about all I got for you. So this is Chewy Shoot. I will catch you guys later.